Today at Wood Turning, I'm not sure what I'm going to make, but it's going to be out of this. Tim's American Beauty was made by Robust Tools, America's premier lathe manufacturer. Quality hardened tool rests and live centers too. Robust. Built to turn wood. Enjoyed for a lifetime. Easy Wood Tools. Best in class carbide wood turning tools. Thompson Lathe Tools. Made by a wood turner for wood turners. So I was digging through the uh, bargain bin at my local woodcraft and came across this beautiful piece of wood. <laughs> uh, it used to be priced at 78 bucks and they had it down to 47.39. And I understand why, because when you look at it, it's like, what can I do with that? That's a mess, right? Well, I love ugly wood and see that crack in there. I think that is beautiful. Over here, this bark is incredible. So how can I turn something on this and still keep the beauty of all this there? So that's gonna be our challenge today. So what I wanna do is we're gonna mount this up on the lathe and start figuring this out. Now I'm going to the two, two prong drive center here because I need these teeth to grab into the wood. Let's see, let me get some stuff on order so when I pick this up, I don't drop anything. Okay, here we go. I'll just slide that into there. Now if you look over here on the tailstock side, I've got my point out a little bit further than normal. This is a robust live center. But I also got that cup to where it's going to touch. <laughs> Lock that in. I undo that. And I'm just putting this on here just to hold it to get off the weight off of me. But now, see how that rolled a little bit? The idea is, is I want to... Well, it's pretty close. <laughs> I want to get this to where it is as close to just spinning freely without being lopsided before we start turning. Well, I've got things spinning here, and I've been just testing this out with my bowl gouge a little bit. This is extremely hard wood. I think this thing has been sitting around for decades. So it's one of those turnings to where you can't get in a hurry. <laughs> You've got to take your time and finally establish a flat surface where you can start making some headway. But this is a lot of wood. I mean, like I said, 26 pounds spinning like this, you better be very, very careful. Make sure all this is in tight and you don't get a catch. You don't get in a hurry. So this is gonna take me a little while, so I'm gonna keep whittling away on this. <laughs> Okay, the guys at Woodcraft are right, it is olive wood. <laughs> it's, it's the oldest piece of olive wood I've ever seen in my life. I mean, this is something else. I'm burning my hand because just the heat of the shavings coming off, and you can see there's no really shavings, it's all dust, it's so hard, that it is really hot when I'm doing this. And so this is about 10 minutes of turning, very carefully, very slowly, but it's gonna be beautiful wood when it comes out. And I'm glad I made the decision because decision, earlier on we were going to make a bowl shape on this side. One, it would get rid of a lot of this beautiful bark that's on here. But two, it'd just take me till you know, into ages to get that thing done. So my idea is, is I want to keep turning this down. I want to maybe leave this as the highest rim. And then as I go down lower, this will be more exposed that way. So this is where it just starts turning into a piece of art. I mean, things would be really cool. But... <laughs> Just gonna have to bear with me. It's gonna take a while to get her done. Okay, Brian and I have been talking off camera because we want the aesthetics of this to really pop. Right now, I've worked my way to the edge. So if you were actually to finish it like this and look at it from the side, it's just gonna look flat across the top. But see how thin my edge is here and then how thick my edge is here. If I keep working out to this edge to make it thin, then we're gonna be cutting down and bringing the edge down like this. It's gonna wave up here and it's gonna come down and it's gonna be really kinda like that. That, I think, is where it's going to be really artistic. It's also going to be a little more difficult to cut. you got to be really, really careful. So anyway, we'll keep whacking at that, and then we'll take another look at our progress. Oh, 
Okay, I think I have the edge exactly where I want it. This is going to be my widest point. And you can see I'm starting to turn air here. That's going to make it more technique uh, demanding because it's going to be pushing against something, floating, pushing against something as I have the tool up here. So you just have to go slow and work your way through it. So the idea now is we're just going to keep scooping this out until I get the shape that I really like. I want to leave that core in there because if you make that too thin, things snap and it flies off and then we have a whole new piece of art. <laughs> Okay, so I've got the curve the way I want it. You can see now it's it's going down here a little bit, little jagged edges, and then we have a rim here, and then jagged edge. So it's doing this little up and down thing, which is what I wanted. And so I've worked my way into here. Now I have to start whittling down this cone. The issue is, as you can see, there's some pretty hefty cracks in here. So I have to go very carefully and very slowly because I don't want this flying off the lay that that snaps. Okay, now I want to do some smoothing cuts in here. So I'm going to use Easywood tools. This is their CIO. This is their negative relief grind on their carbide cutter. It's incredible. It's a great advancement in carbide cutters because a normal carbide cutter is just a straight scraper. That's why I wasn't using one on this because it's in grain. It wouldn't be a good idea. If it's, if it's green wood, yeah, it goes like crazy. If it's regular wood, it goes like crazy. When it's petrified wood, ah, uh -uh, not a way to go. Now, the negative rake scraper is going to be awesome because I've got some little tiny ripples in here I want to take out. So we're going to come up, bring the tool up here. We're flat. We're completely horizontal here. And we're going to come up with the grain to make our cuts. And look at that. No catches, no worries. And it's just barely taking any wood off. So all I'm trying to do is just smooth out some of those little bumps from the bowl gouge that I was using. And see, we're cutting air there, air now, so we're going to be really careful, follow through. And so when we look at this, oh, smooth as a baby's butt. I'm probably going to start at like 220, maybe even 3, 320, whatever, 400, 300 sand, sanding paper when I work on this. But anyway, I'm going to work on this. You can also can see here now, I'm getting in the danger zone. i got a couple cracks right on this. So I'm going to try to whittle this down a little bit more after I smooth this out. Then we'll take it from there. I switched to my Dremel now rather than the lathe <laughs> because you can see that's where my point was and I lost that piece of wood. So that was uh, nature's way of saying uh, get it off the lathe and start doing a manual cut. So we're going to cut this down and then we'll just keep working on this till I can get this down some. I'm going to see what I can do with it. That's pretty smooth. I'm really happy that that worked that well. So I'm going to take my angle uh, drill here with uh, some sandpaper on here and just start working this down a bit. Probably go to about 300 grit. This is going to get good. <laughs> so I actually only sanded the 220 grit on this. It is so hard that it didn't need any more sandpaper to it. Oh, that olive wood is just a popping in it. I mean, this is, <laughs> this is really cool. I don't get a chance to do much stuff that I'd put into the artistic bent, if you want to call it that. But this is really neat. I love the way we kept the natural look of the log and now we've exposed the beauty of the wood at the same time. So anyway, that, well that's cool. <laughs> so that is how you make a tree trunk bowl out of a hard piece of olive wood. So next time on Wood Turning, keep turning. Tim's American Beauty was made by Robust Tools, America's premier lathe manufacturer. Quality hardened tool rests and live centers too. 
robust, built to turn wood, enjoyed for a lifetime. Easy Wood Tools, best in class carbide wood turning tools. Thompson Lay Tools, made by a wood turner for wood turners.